Hello everyone, today I will be discussing about C++ list container. Uh, the definition of a standard list is an SDL container that is implemented as a doubly linked list. This container supports insertion and removal of elements anywhere within the container. The lesson is I will demonstrate how to use a list container in C++. Okay, so let's begin demonstrating um, what you can do with a list in C++. So first thing, I'm going to include list. Then I'm going to include IO stream. Then I'm going to declare using namespace standard. I'm going to create an iterator, list iterator standard list int iterator it and in my main routine sorry I'm gonna create another function called um, print list so void print list standard list int and percent list. What this function is going to do is it's going to print out, uh, iterate through the list and print each item um, in the list. So first off, I say uh, it equal uh, list begin. Then I will check to see if it's already at at the end of the list or not. If it is not equal to list n, then continue. So um, I'm going to do a for loop for it equal list begin. It less than equal to list n then it++ to iterate through the list and I'm going to print out each item in the list okay uh, otherwise I'm going to say um, there's no entry available in the list in line <clears throat> okay, so that's our first um, function. Now, in my main routine, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a list. So, standard list int list number equal to, let's say, 10, 15, 25, 30. So I have a list of uh, numbers. Okay, and then let's do a print list. Okay, let's save this, compile, and let's check it out. Okay, so you can see that we're printing uh, the number list 10, 15, 25, and 30. Okay, now what we want to do is let's say we want to insert elements into the list. So we say um, it equal list number. Um, begin and I say it plus plus okay so what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna add a number between uh, 10 and 15 uh, so th that's where you do the it plus plus here okay and so um, I need to insert it using the insert method. 
So I'm going to insert a number 12, which is going to be between 10 and 15. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a print list uh, again. So let's save this and um, we can recompile it. Okay. But I think before this, what we need to do is we need to mark it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see, uh, do a C out after insertion. Okay, save, recompile. And let's look at the demo at this point. So <clears throat> as you can see, we got 10, 15, 25, and 30. So after insertion, when we print out the list, we get 10, 12, 15, 25, and 30. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, if I want to erase something from the list, okay, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to erase uh, the number 12 that, that I just inserted. So, it equal list number begin it plus plus uh, list number erase it okay then um, we say um, c out after deletion and then go ahead and print the list And then let's save it and recompile. So you can see uh, after deletion, we get 10, 15, 25, and 30, which is basically the original list that we had before. Okay, so, okay, let's go do one more. And let's say that I want to clear the list. say ls number dot clear okay and then um, see out after clear after clearing the list print list save it recompile Okay, it says after clearing the list, I have no available, um, no entry available in the list. So this is what we expected when we check for um, any items in the list. Okay. Now, uh, okay, so the the list is clear. So I want to add uh, an item in the list, but I want to add it to the front of the list. So adding item in front of the list. So we can do ls number push front. Let's say I want to push the number 10 again back to the list. Okay. And uh, let's do a C out after adding number in front of the list. and do a print list. Okay, let's save this and then recompile. Oops, made a mistake. Should be um, LST number, not LS number. Okay, let's, let's look at the value now. So we got 10 now. Okay, so uh, let's add another number. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, um, those lines of code. I'm going to add um, number 12. Okay, then um, we're going to see the result. OK. 
okay so now we, when we print out the list we see that 12 goes before 10 because we said we do we basically doing a push front okay so um, the next example I'm gonna basically add uh, adding item in the back of the list so this requires that we need to do the pushback we you need to use the uh, pushback method to do this so uh, I'm gonna copy this line of code up here so instead of doing push front I'm gonna do push back and I'm gonna push back the value 15 I'm going to change this to say after adding number in the back of the list and then print out the list again. Recompile. Okay, so you can see that 15 now is um, in the back of 10, not in front of 12. Okay, so that's all the tutorial for uh, the standard C++ list. Thank you for watching. See you next time.